This is a Ryan Little production. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. We're out here today getting our cars detailed by the amazing Josh from Final Stage Detailing. He is the homie. I've known him for years. But uh, we're out here getting cars detailed. Hopefully we'll learn something. And hopefully you guys will learn something. Alright, so we have my car up now. Um, Josh, how long you been doing this, man? It's going on three years professionally. Three years professionally? Yes, what made sir. you want to start? Uh, actually, my uh, car club kind of got me into it. I started off detailing just within my own car club. I uh, started doing a couple of affiliate car clubs and then kind of snowballed into into what I do every day and working on cool cars. So something I definitely enjoyed from the beginning and something that I have a real passion for. So Yeah, yeah. that's cool. What products do you like to use? Uh, I definitely like to use a mixture. It's not one product that I like. It's uh, a few different ones. Uh, mostly yeah, chemical guys, Opti, No Rinse, Evershine, just a few of the major ones I really like. Honestly, this right here is what I suggest everyone use to wash their car. Uh, highly, highly suggest it. It's very simple, easy to use. The reason why I like it a lot is because it's actually, uh, you can use it for a car soap, but you can also use it as a quick detailer too, or even a spray wax. So it's just the way you cut it. So if you add a little bit more product into it, you have a full spray wax and make it nice and shiny. Or even if you just need to wash your car, it's perfect for that too. I like to use a lot of products that are really versatile, so you don't have to buy a lot of products. Definitely my little pro tip for you guys. Pro tip, yeah. right there. The main reason we're out here is we're getting our cars detailed. Um, Josh is the only person we really trust to get it done. And so far, it's sick. Like It's so shiny, like my camera can't even focus on this. But uh, when I got my car back from paint about a year or so ago, I wasn't satisfied exactly how it came out because the cut and buff was kind of rushed so there's a lot of swirls and my car being a black car it stands out a lot especially if I go to shows I want the car to stand out and especially most shows are during the day so you see all the swirls and from a fresh paint job like it kind of sucked so glad that we could finally get this taken care of. For you guys that are just tuning in uh, this is Anthony's new car. He just got it from SoCal. Looks like his old car, but it's a lot better because this one is a V6 Turbo X cross-wheel drive. And so... That means that it's got more power! Yep. And it has torque vectoring to the rear. So it's like a Subaru because it's all-wheel drive, but better. But Shit's anyway, on Subarus. Stock, just kidding. <laughs> stock numbers for people who don't know Sobs. 285 horsepower, 295 pound-feet stock and it has a Haldex cross-wheel drive system which means it can vector torque in an X that's why it's X wheel drive so you can send up to 85% of the total torque to one rear wheel sick yeah and uh, they're kind of rare too um, they, they only made they only brought 600 to the US I think they only made like 2,000 something worldwide and 600 of them went to the US and of those some of them are wagons some of them are automatic some are manual so this is one of the manual ones which makes it really rare um, it's also, since it's a Turbo X, came with a special paint color called Jet Black Metallic, which has this purple flake to it, which you can see right now has swirls, but Josh is gonna be the magician and take all that out, and we're really excited to show you guys the before and after. Sorry guys, this isn't a 240 episode, unfortunately, but um, hopefully you guys will learn something, and uh, you get to see our other cars, because we have a lot of them. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> and we're like, hey, can you cut and buff it? And the guy was like, yes, cut and buff, and this is what happened after cut and buff. Yeah, yeah you can like, really clearly see, see what you use. These are all buffer trails, if you can see <laughs> oh, them, like, right here. The focuses is all buffer trails, and what that is is basically when they're sitting it, buffing it, they sat on the paint for too long and it caused heat and friction to make the, make the holograms like that. Um, Sick. So hopefully all these swirls on the trunk should vanish. And then you'll, get, you'll be able to see my pearl, as well as Anthony's pearl, because yeah. both our cars are very sparkly. Pearl. Josh, so I know that we moved the car into the garage, but you can basically do this kind of thing anywhere, right? Oh yeah, yeah, we're a completely mobile service, so kind of 
basically come to you wherever you're needed from your house, home, office. We are able, as long as we have a working space around the vehicle, we can definitely take care of it. Usually either working out in a garage or under a nice canopy. So definitely have a little bit of shade. What do we have here, what are the tools? What are the products? What do you got going on? Yeah, what we have here today, we're doing actually a pretty major paint correction. So we got Wolfgang compound. We got a PNS pad paired with the Flex 3401, which is my weapon of choice. <laughs> and we're doing, yeah, just doing a nice paint correction. You can see right here, starting to clear up. Got a little bit of major scratches, but it's going to be clearing up all the swirls and the small imperfections in the paint. You look amazing already, Josh. Like we can see in the camera, like clearly reflective, and I know you're not even done compared to that side, which is not as reflective. But I know there are different stages for paint correction, so can you tell us a little bit about that and what that entails? Yeah, definitely. Well, we offer a couple levels of stages of detailing, stages one, two, and three. So our first stage is a wash, clay, and waxing. And uh, that's really just to get a lot of show cars ready, cars that are already nice, you know, already paint corrected. A lot of vehicles like to use our stage one. And we have a, for our paint correction is our stage two and three. So the main difference is the stage two is a single step paint correction. So um, what we're basically using is a, a polisher going around the tire vehicle, buffing it out one time, and then putting a sealant or a wax on top. And then we have our full stage three paint correction, which is roughly a two to three step paint correction. It's basically where we use, instead of one pad and one product, we're using two to three different products and pads. And that's really to get out any, again, swirls, imperfections, scratches, oxidization, anything that's built up on the paint, it really gets taken care of with a, a paint correction. And how long does like a stage three take? Yeah, for you. generally, generally, oh, our like stages, a, yeah, to yeah, get like a, a regular full, size car. Yeah, like, a normal car generally is about a six to eight hour job, depending dang. on the vehicle and the color. If it's a black vehicle, it'll definitely take a little bit longer. But generally, again, our, our stage three paint corrections are six to eight hours. And then we also have our full ceramic coatings, and that, that's a full paint correction with two layers of ceramic coating on top. And that's roughly about, generally, again, a nine to about 14 hour job from start to finish. Wow. So, yeah, are your are good. your cars yeah. currently ceramic coated? Yes. Maybe yes, we could yes. see what it looks like later because I know it's crazy when you roll the like the water off yeah, the ceramic off, coated car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long does good. ceramic coat last for? Um, it depends on what stage you're doing. We offer two different uh, stages for ceramic coating: our two-year protective layer and then our four. Wow. And again, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's definitely a nice, nice <laughs> that is, protective that is coating, long time. coating on there. And what we've been what we use a lot right now is our ceramic pro ceramic coating. So it's a nine H hardness. So it definitely gets you. The protection, the, the shine, I really like it because it makes the cleanup a lot easier. That's the, the biggest, especially for car people like us, I say we're always sitting there quick detailing, wiping our cars down. It makes that process so much quicker, easier, faster. So that's a big, big point for any of the car guys out there wondering if they're, they're, they're interested in ceramic coatings. Nice. So if you can see that, guys, if you focus on the sunlight, see how Josh has taken out pretty much most of the swirls with just a single stage paint correction but then you come past this line and just all the swirls that circle around the Sun you can really see it if you stand here like you can see the clear line where it's like swirls and they just disappear and you can see all the flake right there Josh taped up the car and we're about to get food. Um, but we don't want to open the door and ruin Josh's tape job, so Raylene's crawling through the trunk to get my wallet. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. Dude. Successful. There's some sharp parts. It's head on really hot. <laughs> it's head on the radio amp dies. Pretty much. <laughs> Address or no? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so Josh good. is our friend and he's a full service mobile detailing, which means we're taking his 5.0 to go get food. And Jer's driving. Yeah. New car, guys. New what car. Who dis? <laughs> so the real goal here is to not hit any crowds or spin out because, Jer, have you had much street driving experience with the Mustang? No, I drive them on a daily basis, but not street. 
That's and straight. I mean, I have drifting experience, <laughs> but not with a Mustang. So okay, so this will be so interesting. Avoid, birds, avoid people. And then, uh, fun fact: uh, Josh had his car valeted at a Marriott months and months ago. Months and months ago. And the valet absolutely destroyed his car. And this is when Jer inserts clips of like the picture of his car fucked up by the valet and they just gave it to him like, here you go, no big deal. We definitely didn't just crash this into a wall. And so now he has a lawsuit with that Marriott. Uh, best of luck to him because that really sucks. You know, dropping your car off to just a valet and having them just joyride it and crash it and then only for the valet service to be like, yeah, this wasn't our fault. You gave it to us like this. I never trust valets, even though I work at a valet. Like, yeah, fuck this guy. Yeah, fuck this guy. Valets. Like, always, when you get your car back, inspect it, walk around it, and, like, check to make sure everything's Gucci. Because most times, they won't say anything. They'll just be like, yeah, your car's good. Get on your way. Good you don't to go. Say anything. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. But, but fun fact though, Jerry doesn't drive, have one of those valets where he has to drive it outside anywhere. It's all inside it's an underground all parking terrible. garage. So Jerry's not one of those assholes who will fuck your car up. Just, exactly. just pro tip there. Yeah. But, uh, I'm not yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Jerry knows how to drive. He's not stupid. Uh, but even though he may know how to drive, we are driving in a Mustang. So we're a little scared. On edge here. Here's a corner, Jer. Here's a slight bend. Holy shit, we might lose it. Nope, we're good. Uh, 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 it's bouncing. now it's called bead maker okay. it's more of a sealant so it'll go right on top of the uh, right on top of the carnauba wax that we put over just give it a nice healthier shine okay and keep it nice and protected for quite a bit longer the paint yes this is the last step. okay what do you guys do after this after this we'll clean up the windows wheels and tires and then it'll be ready to go that was sick because it works very well on tires, kind of any black hard plastic, so you could even use it on the trim. Uh, on there's the Josh with that versatile Exactly, on the exterior, product. and then even you could use Silk Shine on the dash, the center console, anything on the inside as well too. It gives it that nice dark refinish. Does it dry it out? Because I know a lot of people are concerned with like silicone based products, right, right. Well, so. Definitely. With, with silk, silk shine, it dries to more of a dark matte finish. So right now it's a little bit shiny, but it definitely gives it that dark, rich finish to it. So does it does it like dry out the plastics though? Because oh, I know no, that's no, a lot it, of people's concern. Yeah, yeah, no, it actually rehydrates the plastics, and that's part of the reason why it gives it that dark black finish. Okay, it. cool. It's a good glass cleaner. Yeah, it's got it. Yeah, good, good glass cleaner. Um, what we use is Evershine. We actually like this one a lot. The Bead Maker by Remy. Do Remy. Um, it's a. It's really like a quick, uh, quick detailer, but it works very well for windows. But yeah, once you have a, a good window um, cleaner, the second next thing is uh, clean microfibers. Generally, we like to use two to three for the windows as well. So um, you basically spray the windows, use a first dirty microfiber, and we usually come back with a clean, dry microfiber. And when you're, do you're coming back with the clean, dry microfiber, you don't want to go in a circular motion like this. You literally, you literally go straight back, back and forth. 
That way you'll definitely be able to see streaks better. And then uh, also the type of microfibers like this. There's different types of microfiber. This one specifically is made for windows. It has a, a waffle weave to them, if you can see that. What that does, that helps trap dirt and uh, particles in the windows that cause the streaking. So this one may trap dirt in it, but it will keep dirt into the fibers and cause a streak. So it's also, there's a little bit of, a little bit better, you know, microfiber for windows but outside of that it's just good glass cleaner two towels and usually like a nice micro or a, a waffle weave style and only going single motions and not in a circular motion it's definitely helpful so so don't use windex and paper towels yeah you can you'd be a little rough paper towels are rough and the thing about windex too it actually leaves a film behind so and that's usually the, the part that you do see are the streaks so it's a little bit harder to get off. Like I said, as long as you get a good window cleaner and two towels and some good motion, you definitely go take care of it. All right, guys, car looks a million times better. No more swirls. Once the sun comes out, you'll be able to see all the flake, and I'm so excited. Look at that, though. Just like looking in the reflection of the car, like you can see Josh's house. <laughs> like that's insane. Like the car never used to be like that, and it's so clear. Um, and it's baby soft. It's amazing. I love it. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Hope you guys learned something. I know I did. Definitely use a two buck, two bucket method because that will save your car. Yeah, don't don't just pick up microfibers off the ground. Don't drop your microfibers off the ground. Shout out to Josh. He did a great job. Check out the guys at Final Stage Detailing. Here's the man right here. Hey, what's up guys? Joshua from Final Stage Mobile Detailing. Hashtag, what is your <laughs> detailer pulled up in you pick? Hashtag JS Detailing, Final Stage Detailing, underscore MD on Instagram. Check us out. If you want uh, any paint correction or actually even just talking detailing, that's something that's all I do. So if you're interested in detailing, talking detailing, paint correction, ceramic coatings, anything like that, don't hesitate to call, text, ask, DM us, slide in, we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put all the info right here. Yeah. Perfect. Right. See you next time. Like, Peace subscribe. Out. Brian Litzler. <laughs>